Welcome to the 34th tutorial on beginning CSS. Today we're going to look at how to absolutely position an element in your web page. And that's exactly what it is. You are absolutely telling the browser where you want that element. And the property that we use is the position property. And we specify, you guessed it, absolute. And then the two other key properties are the top property and the left property. And so you can see the absolute positioned element right here. So what we're basically doing is saying, hey, absolutely put this in the following place. From the top, I want 75 pixels down. And from the left side of the browser, I want it 150 pixels pixels from the left side of the browser. And then we get our placement right here. Now we could also place this element on the right. So we just switch this from left to right. Let's hit save. And now it's positioned from the top and the right side. And we can also do this on the bottom, by the way. You, you could switch this to the bottom and also play around with the right and left bottom part of the page too. So it's pretty simple. Now let's go ahead and switch this back to the left. And let's talk about the flow. Now this element right here is in the flow. And what I want to show you is that absolute positioned elements are removed 100% from the flow. And uh, it's similar to floated elements. However, there is a key difference and I want to show you that right now. So let's go ahead and make this 10 pixels and we'll make this 15 pixels from the left. So 10 pixels from the top, 15 pixels from the left. Let's save this. Let's hit refresh. And you will notice that this just went right over the paragraph black element in the flow. It did not even respect the borders. It just pasted it right over the top. And that's what I meant when it is 100% removed from the flow. Now this has some advantages actually. You can overlay elements and create some nice effects doing that. And we'll get to that in the CSS layout series. But I just wanted to make the point that absolute position elements are completely removed from the flow. Now in the last video we talked about how float elements are outside of the flow too, but not completely. So it's not 100%. And what I mean by that is that elements that are floated will respect the boundaries of an element that's in the flow. And uh, let's do that. Let's go ahead and float this element now. So we're not going to absolutely position the element. Let's just float this to the left. And remember, all we need with a float is to give it a width. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll hit refresh. And now you can see that this floated div element respected the boundaries of the P element. But when we absolutely position an element, it does not. Okay, that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.